Well, hello, hello, hello. How the hell is everybody? I think I'm past the 10 minute mark, so I can curse a little bit. Uh, making sure everything sounds good in my ear. Sounds okay, oh, sounds okay. Uh, hope everybody has had a good week so far. It is Friday and uh, time for some live nude resin. That's right, there's no girls in this video, so if that's what you're looking for, you may wanna move on. Otherwise, have a blast. Um, so let's see, before, reason I started a little bit late than I intended to tonight was I had to go pick up some stuff, uh, pick up some dry cat food and two quarts of lacquer thinner and two and a quart of acetone and something else and a bunch of other stuff that I had on my back on the scooter in the rain doing 30 miles an hour screaming Jesus take the wheel and I ended up stopping and uh, remembering that evidently everybody and their dog uh, is playing uh, Mega Billions. So I told the guy, give me $200 worth. And he said, are you sure? And I said, no, I'd have better luck with a prostitute that doesn't put out on the first date. Give me $8 worth. So that's what I got. Um, let's see here. And sound check is good. Thank you, other Dave. Any update on Asuka? No, not yet. We have not uh, we have not messed with her in a while, and uh, you know I thought at first that maybe it was my mat that was messing with my mouse, and uh, no, for some reason when I go live it just makes the mouse want to disconnect. Uh, I'm looking at chat over here, so it looks like we have Ozzy with the gold star saying howdy ho. We have Angawa with the silver star saying what up. Uh, let's see here. Other Dave looking forward to that live nude resin with the bronze star. Uh, next up, we got Gunpla Fixation Jim with the aluminum star saying sup. And uh, Rick Yene uh, with uh, any update on Asuka and with the plastic star. Uh, and we got Dead to Death in the house. And what else have we got? Um, let's see. Acetone. What the hell? Don't ask. I use acetone for certain things. Um, let's see, why even bother uh, playing the lottery? Uh, da, 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 $8 down the drain. And uh, Flair, woo! Um, hey, hey, everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, the reason that I do it is because everyone at my work decides to pitch in like $20 and every time there's like some big mega lotto thing and nobody wins shit. But I end up stopping like an hour before every time by accident i don't intend to but i'm a sucker and i end up buying a couple quick picks uh last time it ended up happening i ended up winning 400 500 off of a quick pick so hey what the hell every time i end up picking up a quick pick and it's one of these big old mega jet jackpot things uh, i end up winning a couple hundred dollars so hey what the hell eight dollars uh, let's see here, Gunpla Fixation, uh, Rick, uh, Rick Flair, yep, uh, the amount of people playing, uh, has zero effect on the odds, only the winnings, um, da 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 da, Flair embracing their destiny, and, uh, Flair says, hey, other Dave, and Gunpla, and Angawa, so, uh, what have we got today, so, you guys may have seen, um, you know, all the Asian people can't be wrong. Uh, I started pre-mixing up some paint because I want to paint. I'm waiting for um, some more balls because evidently I don't have enough balls. At least that's what my wife says um, for my bottles. So I've got uh, some a bunch of surfacer and some base colors already in bottles. I have more bottles, smaller ones for other paints. Uh, I am waiting for an update from... I think I grabbed my drink. I don't think I did. Uh, oh, I did. Yay. I am not a worthless human being. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Miguel Crespo in the house. Hey, gents. All right. Um, let's see here. Jim says, paint something. Uh, I guess they don't do that since sometimes nobody wins. Um, okay, so let's see here. What have we got? Um, so I went and I picked up some things that I will need. Picked up some new Tupperware. This is going to be for the bigger kits to go into. Uh, mostly the big green guy. So we'll put that over there. Um, 
I did go over and hang out the other night with uh, on um, damn it I just blanked out on his on his channel Nori over on Nori TVs and so he had uh, this masking tape and I thought you know what I'll give that shit some a try so I ended up picking up three giant rolls it smells it smells awful but uh, I thought I'd give this a try What else have we got? Uh, we got some pork rinds. Those are for later. I'm not going to eat those on stream because they're loud as hell. Uh, let's see here. Lacquer thinner. For cleaning. Uh, I needed some more uh, Velcro because I don't have enough Velcro. Velcro and magnets. That's what I'm becoming known for. Uh, let's see here. We'll leave that in the bag. Uh, I ended up picking up these. Uh, come on, focus on my face, you stupid camera. Come on. There, thank you. Uh, I ended up pick... Will you stay focused on my face, damn it? Okay, we'll put them over here. <laughs> um, okay, so I ended up picking up these. Uh, they were just hanging on a wall at Home Depot, and I went, you know what? Two of these mounted on my station over there on each side. Like, I got enough for that. Um, as airbrush holders for the airbrushes that I'm not using so I can put it on the outside and just hang my airbrushes on there Think that'll work something to try out. I will let you know how those go What else have I got? Uh, did I get anything else? I don't remember uh, I got a random package with some detail parts. I'm not even sure what the hell they go to. I don't even know what this goes to, but I got uh, this package. Not that one. I got some vent pieces because I want to try replacing some vents on some things. Uh, I ended up getting, uh, which I'm kind of curious. I want to compare these. I got the Delphi um, package in so today, which was super fast. Like it was less than a week. Um, and I got some of their Aurora style film and I want to compare it to this uh, I've used G option film before and I don't know if they're even around anymore um, But a friend of mine sent me that um, Let's see here Next earthquake got like four bit needles uh, Yeah, probably probably um, Yeah, thank you everyone for stopping in and checking out my shenanigans uh, let's see Let's go through the Delphi bag. So this is the Delphi bag. Uh, I'm going to switch over camera, which means no more beautiful face Sorry All right, and let's get that out here because no one needs to see all my chat um, Aurora still stock some places G option. I think not around sadly. Yeah, I think uh, I think G option that shop went out a long time ago um, So things that I got from Delphi. So this is the uh, Aurora style film um, Let me switch over to this camera Let's zoom in So this is their Aurora style film and this is the old style. So I think the old style has more of a rainbowy. Um, I didn't get both styles. They have a gold and a silver version uh, over at Delphi. And I actually kind of like this one better. Uh, it'll be good for adding little details. I know people use it for visors and stuff, but I think it'll be good for little details. You get one little sheet in there and I think it was like $2 or something like that. I'd have to look it up. Uh, next thing we'll take a look at this in a second uh, Next up is I got the razor plus which I know Ungawa said I was stupid for getting um, But I wanted to try it out. I was like hey, what the hell I needed to I needed to reach my $80 quota and I didn't feel like buying $80 worth of Stuff so let's take a quick look at it Let's see here. Let's cut this. Do, 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 do. 
It's Delphi. I'm going to call it Delphi. Uh, Djibouti in the house saying, ha 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 ha. Uh, let's see. Uh, Anon369 uh, said, at Gunpla Fixation, what's up with your channel? Your channel and content is great. And I thoroughly enjoyed your builds. Yes, Jim, what is going on with your channel? Uh, we have Depp Shelburne. Uh, to be honest, the Razor isn't even worth it, uh, in my honest opinion. And Angawa, Dave acting ignorant. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, sanding the blade work yields better result. I know I got it because I could. That's the whole reason that I got it. No other reason other than I have the I have the smaller one that Djibouti sent me as a gift and I thought I would try out the bigger version which is pretty much the same size like I thought of their sanding block which yes I have velcroed to my wall um, I can feel the texture difference on there I do I can tell you right now though I do like the for me I like this size better. It's more comfortable. It's more, uh, it's more like these that I'm used to using. So not bad. We'll play around with that uh, in another video. But like I said, I got it just to try it out. If I don't like it, I give it away. Um, decals. Let's see what we got for decals. <clears throat> uh, Alan Ding buying expensive tools with an X. I can't help it. I work hard. I work hard for my money. Um, okay, so on the on the front here it says uh, David Star Shadow first order gift enclosed, um, and I'm going to assume that that's what this is because I don't remember ordering any real grade stickers, and this looks to be. I can't quite read that. What does that say? Double O, GN0, GN01, uh, GN00. So this is for, this is for one of the, um, for one of the real grades. So this is one of their holographics and this was a freebie that they sent me. I do like the holographic effect. Uh, let me get that light out of here. So. So that does have a cool effect to it. I like it. It's not like blatant and in your face. It's subtle. So I think that will look cool. Pretty sure I have a kit that that can be used on. Uh, let's see here. Next up for water slides. Now I think that I am going to do some giveaways here. Um, the first one that I'm opening here is their uh, PG Unleashed RX-78 and they have three different styles and I bought all three so this is the regular style uh, they don't look too thick it does look like the edges are really close to all the details so that's good they're not like huge and big uh, sometimes you'll get uh, water slides and they'll just be like really big. So uh, expect me to do a giveaway on one of these uh, sheets of each of these. Uh, next up, these are going to be the holographic uh, versions. So that actually looks pretty cool. That can give it, I mean, even if you just did this on uh, a regular, like you just panel lined it and stuff and put this on, I think it could give some good pop. And we may try that just on the regular one that I have over here. So I'll give, be giving one of those away. And lastly, we have, I think these are just copies of the stock ones. This looks like copies of the stock stickers, but there are water slides. 
So I don't know which ones I'm going to end up using on what, but later on I will be giving away one of each of those, maybe more. It all depends on which ones that I decide to use. So um, I'm calling them Delphi. So thank you for the extras. Um, next up, let's head up to the big camera. Let's get this out of the way because evidently that's not what's going on. Um, next up, I actually have this package. Let's zoom in. So this is for Dead to Death's uh, Faz. I ended up picking this up to use on his when I do uh, unboxing and build on it. Ended up getting the metal option sets. Uh, let's see here. Ellen, uh, dang, hopefully clear coats don't ruin the finish on the decals. I'm going to try on some regular just plot plate and try it. Uh, let's take uh, let's take this made in China useless shit. Give it uh, an edgy name. Mark it up 200%. Genius. Uh, what are you guys talking about? I think you were talking about the void thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I cannot justify it. Even me that spends too much money on everything and will buy anything won't buy that. Now I just do it on Gawa because I know it gets under your skin. Uh, let's see here. So. Let's see. I got wifey is blowing up my phone. I don't know why. Um, why is she blowing up my phone? So let's see here. Uh, we have... There's not a lot on here. There's just some add-on options for the Faz. Uh, let's see here on the gun. You get a bunch, I guess, for the little vents and joints and things. So it was cheap. I really do like their prices. Well, don't feel bad on Goa because I have some of those on by on order too, uh, of all of the display glass files. So. Then you can harass me about being a sucker for those. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you get uh, some joint pieces on here, which are all photo etched. So, these will be nice little add ons to do on that. Uh, the Amazon uh, files seem to be less durable. Razor is way better than the random files I have tried from Amazon. Uh, I have some Amazon files and they're okay. Like, I don't have as much experience as everyone else with messing with those. I mean, I'll flatly admit that. And I'll flatly admit, like while I'm working on things, I have a tendency, instead of using a glass file, even when I try to, I will still grab my traditional file because I know exactly how much pressure and what the outcome is going to be. And you are not going to let me put you back in there, are you? Get in there. So that's for Dead to Death's Faz. Let's get that out of the way. Get all this stuff out of the way. Um, let's see here. Now I will give you I will give you that Angawa. Um, I do like the glass files for working on clear pieces. Uh, they do work great for that. Now, uh, for the big package. So I haven't even cracked this open. I haven't even looked at it. So. Let's crack this guy open. All right, Ugh, come on. So here's the first one. Now I know that, um, what's the company? Uh, SH Hobby or whatever, they've done their version. Here's the second box. Uh, they've done their version and it's in two boxes, but I don't think there's a single person that I've seen uh, 
that got the SH Hobby one uh, that one of the boxes or both the boxes weren't crushed in some way. So I don't know. Um, first up, we're going to look at this. I have, I wanted to pick this up. I wanted to pick up one or any of the Fortune Meow uh, kits because I wanted to see in hand. Like I see uh, it's a Gunplaws videos and he does a good overview of it as far as it in the package but i really wanted to like you don't get a feeling until you get it in your hands so i had to try it um let's see here gunpla fixation says the worst gun primer tool is this stupid joint uh joint guard uh piece of paper tape i had you know i have a thing uh that I like doing the traditional uh, super glue with the, the baking soda to give some grip to the ball joints to put them in. And that seems to work perfect. Um, I don't, I, I saw no use in, in that. All right, so we'll take a quick look and see what is in here. So it seems like a, a some, like a decent amount of bubble wrap not overly much um small amount of pack packaging small amount of package we got two booklet things in here let's take a look uh the packaging is nothing to like super write home about it seems like pretty decent heavy duty cardboard it's not like super cheap it's not going to collapse if you stack a couple of kits on it uh, what do we got in here? Um, that's another thing too. I will probably be doing a giveaway now that I have this. Of the, I ended up ordering this before. It's the photo etch set for the Gundam Dynamis. Um, I may end up giving these away in a raffle or something like that. So if you guys want that, stay tuned. Uh, we have some decals that are specific for this kit. And, well, I actually have to give them some credit on this. So these are actually really thin. And I will correct myself just for Angara. Delpy's decals seem to be uh, thicker than these. These are actually nice and thin. Now, that's not always a good thing. Sometimes if they're too thin, that means they're going to tear when you try and apply them and everything. Um, but these these look like they are printed with the edges really close to the details. And they are really thin. Like you can barely feel the lift off. So we'll see. Um, let's see here. I've used joint guards on anything that I needed. Thickening. Da, 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 da. Um other Dave, uh, that's a raffle I would feel no guilt in entering. Anon369, the chat turned into shitting on gun primer tools. It always goes sideways at some point. Uh, next up in the package, we have a postcard for the Gundam Dynamis. We get a generic sheet of water slides. This is with every freaking kit that ends up coming out of uh, China. Like, I must have a stack of these now. It came with the Sosby, uh, the second package for the Sosby, the uh, the new, the high new, the, like, you get the sheet. I think it's just generic. They just hand them out. Like, little kids are walking down the sidewalk and they just hand them to them. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. So it's a sheet of paper. I'm assuming that these are stickers. You can't really see it, but there's multiple little round circles on here. And I'm assuming that maybe you pull these out to put over certain spots, like when you're painting, so the, like you don't cover up the metal pieces. I don't know, that's kind of curious. Maybe it says something in the instruction manual. Um, let's see here and let's see. And you get a sheet of photo, uh, photo etch. 
these are I'm looking these are laid out almost exactly like I see a couple pieces but these are done almost exactly like the unleashed where they're just peel and I doubt they're stick I doubt they're stick that would not make a bunch of sense but they are already pre-cut laser cut so that is nice so we have these versus these and I see some difference in some of them so we'll have to we'll have to see what ends up happening but it's nice that they come with their own photo etch for this kit okay so all that's over there let's put it back so that we don't ruin anything uh, let's see Ellen someone said those decals are like copies of HIQ somewhere on the internet uh, SH Studio 160 Goof Flight Type is a great resin kit. I'm currently working on it and I'm really enjoying the build. That's good. I really enjoyed the regular uh, SH Studio Goof, except for I was missing the butt piece on it. Uh, Alan says, uh, yeah, I have a handful of these as well. Oh, those are for missiles, uh, for the missiles, Dave. So those stickers help you align and put them. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so let's take a look at the instruction manual real quick and see what this looks like. I will do an actual like video review on all this, but I'm kind of curious of what this ends up looking like. Um, so you have the parts layout over here. You have a generic of where the parts go over here. A generic of what to cut off on the, the original. Um, doesn't look like it changes a whole lot. Changes a majority of the shoulder. Changes out the elbow piece. It changes out the majority of all the all the armor on the arms. For the waist, it changes out the whole front section. This will be kind of curious. Because I know that this has an option for LEDs. I do like the butt piece on there. Um, let's see here. This is going to be for the legs. It changes out almost the whole knee piece. Almost all of the feet. This is what I'm really curious about is these armor pieces. Uh, so you got that. Changes out the gun, which I'm happy about. Then showing you where the photo edge goes. So cool, cool on that. Um, it looks like you do get two pieces that don't get used. So these are vents for, I don't know, something else maybe. LED. So let's see, those are in here. How many of those do you get? So you only get two of those. And you get, oh wow, what the hell? You get two batteries in here. See, they can add batteries. So the LEDs, these are like little micro LEDs. Kind of curious on that. Um, I'm going to have to use the translator to figure out what that all says. You get some shots on here of, I guess, where the decals go. Colors, maybe. Some more shots. I just, I like the details that this adds to, adds to this kit. Like, it's one of my favorite... I, I'm a big fan of the Gundam uh, 00 series, but I know a lot of people are not. Okay, so if we take a look at this, that's as close as that one gets. Let's do this. Okay. Actually, let me turn that off. So if we take a look at the pieces in here, everything seems to be pretty crisp. I'm not seeing any real flanges on here. You get the clear green pieces. You get some maybe joint pieces over here in white. These are going to be the new. Uh... Okay, so that's kind of curious. So these joints, they're cast, but they have actually have metal pins in them which is kind of cool. Um, so you get the, I don't know what that is. That looks like a crystal. 
they actually add some things that look like crystals in here, like Swarcy crystals. So I'm assuming those are for rel reflective parts. These batteries on here are CR311 3 volt. They, these are almost exactly like uh, the ones that come in uh, the Unleashed, just micro, like they're super small. But now I'm kind of curious how things get turned on and off. So I'm going to have to research on that. So that's, that's baggie number one. I don't see any quality control sticker or anything like that. A couple of people showed pictures where they had quality control stickers. Um, but all the parts look pretty, pretty crisp. I'm not seeing any real blebs. I'm not seeing any panel lines that are super obscured. Trying to make sure to get you guys at least a decent view. Of course, I will do a close up. The inside of the detail of the shields. Flipping over. I'm uh, I'm super happy so far. It won't be until I actually get these out and take a look at them in person, like close up that I can feel the edges and like any flash, things like that. Um, but yeah, that's that seems to be pretty cool. Let's take a look uh, at chat here. Uh, LED for the butt boosters. Sweet, I like butt boosters. What else have we got? Uh, other Dave, is that to make the headlight up? No, uh, woo, the proportions are so much cooler on it. Uh, Miguel Crespo, what a sexy kit. Yes, uh, Angawa, I've got two uh, FM kits and haven't seen a sticker, but nothing broken either. Sup uh, surprising considering the box is sort of flimsy. Hmm. I mean, once it's closed up, I mean, this was packed in with the other. It's pretty stable. I mean, I've seen a lot flimsier. Uh, Maniac Studios has, uh, I mean, if you want to talk about flimsy boxes, Maniac Studios has some flimsy ass boxes. Like that's just barely thicker than like regular paper. Um, let's see here. Shady Z, have you checked out the Badworks Shining Gundam Conversion Kit? Uh, I have. I've looked at that, but I, I, I haven't messed with anything yet. Um, let's see here. And let's see what else we got. Okay. I never did reply to her. Uh, this box doesn't compare to the, no. Um, I don't know about Utopia. I don't think I've ever actually had a Utopia kit, if I'm completely honest. Um, but Yao Land, uh, Anchor T, those, those, those boxes were meant to like last a lifetime. Uh, uh, considering the price tag, I think FM step up their packaging. Um, so let's see here. So time for some green stuff. Utopia boxes can be stood on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I've never ended up with a Utopia. I think I ended up with like an old, old original Utopia kit, but uh, that's been like forever. All right, so I'm getting this whole, this whole thing is literally like packed to the gills. Like packed. Oh, look. Knock off yellow submarine parts. Yeah, those look kind of sketchy, but we'll take a look at them. Uh, let's take a look at what is in here. Um, let's see. Melon, this kit looks really good. I want to try out the double Zeta gun and Verkaw by... Yeah, that one looks good too. Damn, got to be a good three pounds of resin. Yes, yes it is. Uh, yeah, I couldn't figure out how GKM packed the kit. I couldn't repack it. Probably very carefully, yeah. Um, Neograde did the same thing on most of their kits. In fact, they did the same thing on this. If anybody remembers the original Neograde packaging, it was kind of like a shoe box with, um, mm, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a cloth finish on the outside, but it was like the size of a shoe box and they would pack so much in there. And, and I don't know how they got the, the 160 Sosby in the box that they did. 
Um, okay, so you get some you get some Casatria stickers or decals. Um, nothing, nothing spectacular. They don't look super thick. They don't look fantastic. I have plenty in the binder, so I don't really care about those. Uh, you get a thin brass rod. Uh, we probably won't end up using that because I already know the headaches that this guy can cause. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, having fun with mine. Yep, Neo Grade was impossible <laughs> to repackage. Yeah, that uh, they were crazy. Um, okay, so um, so I'm going to ask Angawa because he and I have been talking. Does this look like the instruction list that y you ended up sending them? Um, no, I am not saying thick water slides are better than thin. Um, I'm saying too thin can be a pain in the butt, especially if you lay them down and you, if you have to move them around, they can tear easily too thick. Uh, they stand out too much, even when you use the, the setter. So I think a good happy medium, um, is good. Uh, and Alan says, uh, those instructions are the same ones for MRSA. Yeah. Uh, like the other ones I've, I've had some tear. It's complete. It, it, it's up to everybody, but yeah, I've had, especially when they get bigger, they're just a lot more difficult to, to manage. Um, let's see. So this one is the NZ666 Casatria Mobile Suit Unicorn MRSA. How to build generically. So you put joints in the neck, you get pieces that go in here, joints in the shoulders, joints in the wrist, joints in the waist. You probably won't do be doing that much of that. In fact, I would probably trust a couple of quarter inch magnets more than I do these joints. Uh, let's see, joints for the waist armor pieces, joints for the hips, that's a no bueno. Um, for the knees, for the ankles, some joints, uh, joint pieces for the binders. Those will probably get used. Hey, at least they're in color. Um, you get a parts list. And no actual instructions on how to build it. So, uh, that's not good, guys. I mean, it's it's a complex, but not that complex. I mean, there's there's parts here, but not crazy. Uh, parts list, generic, uh, how to build. Please check. Um, premium parts collection. Okay. Well, let's get onto that, and then same photos that you end up getting if you look anywhere on the internet. Let's get that out of the way. Um, I know I just saw those aftermarket joints. Yes. So as far as the joints, the original creator of these style joints was Yellow Submarine. As far as I'm aware, that's, I think I actually have some in a box somewhere, uh, especially these style. So you got some hoses, like what the hell are these hoses for? I'm assuming maybe going around some piping or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you get these little ball joints. They are going to be shit. They're two piece glued together. I can already tell you these are going to be crap. I've used crappy ones like this before and they are crap. Uh, on here. Um, let's see. Angawa, uh, I sent them real instructions. Well, I might hit you up for, for those. Uh, I'm heading home. We'll come back in later. Okay. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, more P Bandai just arrived. TG3 and Ultron. Oh, you got the Ultron? You'll have to send me a picture of that. Uh, let's see here. Buyer beware. Resin modeler. I thought my camera broke on my phone today, but it was a bad micro SD card. Swoosh. Didn't want to waste the money on a phone. Need the money to buy Gundam models. Good choice in, uh, in that. Uh, let's see here. My P Bandai stuff arrived as well. Uh, Mark... 
Mark Five Live and P uh, Mark Five Live on the P Bandai site. Hmm. I am not going to look. I swear to God, I'm not going to look. Um, these don't feel too bad. We'll have to see how these end up turning on in there. But yeah, these are these are knockoff, and so are these others. They're they're knockoff of. Uh, yellow submarine and uh, I think Volks made these little ones for their their figures and worst case scenario if I really want to do that I'll just order some from Volks now uh, we get one baggie that's kind of odd because it's two different color resins I'm sure you guys can see that like darker 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 and then lighter but these are the same color darker Mm. Not horrible, horrible. Uh, three bags. Jesus Christ, I forgot how many parts come in those. Uh, the fourth baggie. There's going to need some cleanup. Deepening some of some panel lines. No big deal. I have plenty of scribers on the way. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Uh, and Dovin Wolf. And let's see here. Might actually try to get all Sentinel suits together. Just missing EXs and Deep Striker. Which is more important variant kit I want. Um, looks very crisp resin. Yeah, it's, it's crisp. I'm going to crack one of these open to take a look at it. Um, yeah, it's pretty crisp. Like, there's some blebs. Like, if we're, if we're being honest here... And I am not looking for perfection on this because no Kasatria I've ever had in my hand has been perfect. Well, except for the Neo Grade. The Neo Grade was fucking perfect. Um, so if we zoom in and I focus on my hand, thank you. Come on. Focus, focus. Focus. Thank you. So there's some blabs in here. Um, we're going to have to scribe out. I may just take the uh, the grinder that I have and grind out these cables um, and just replace them because I have cabling that will work for that. Mm, resin is pretty smooth. I'm not too keen on the fact that they pulled the an E2046 and pre-ground um, where all the mold lines were. But we'll see how that ends up being in the long run. Uh, let's see here. Taking a look at the shin pieces. Yeah. I mean, they look pretty good. Uh, we have some binder pieces. Again, not horrible. I would probably make the lines, uh, panel lines a little bit deeper. I'm just, I'm going over, I'm looking. No b real big pore tabs, but it looks like because they already snapped them off. Some more binder pieces. That's going to be a majority of this kit. Um, but looks pretty good. Ultimately, it'll have to be, we'll have to see how things end up going together. So it looks like they stuck with the same cutout version, which I think, um, yeah, the death would, uh, would know. I did, uh, Neil grade do the cutout or was it SMS that did the, the cutout on the binders? I can't, I can't remember if they were always there. Uh, uh, Leon says, uh, conversion or full resin kit. This is a full resin kit. Um, Alan says, actually very crisp. I'm shocked. Uh, should have gone with that version over SH. Um, and there is no Consatria conversion kit. Um, I'm thinking someone tried one. Someone tried to do one that went on a Zaku frame. And I don't remember the God, it was long ago. And that was a flaming hot mess. I don't even remember who the producer was. Uh, Neo Great. Okay. 
Uh, we can dream. SMS did not uh, cut the armor. Okay. Uh, you wouldn't even want that conversion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they did. Uh, they tried to do a um, a Sosby conversion. SMS did on a Zaku frame, and that thing could not hold up its own weight. Like it would just buckle. Um, you got the feet. Mm, of course, some blebs and stuff, but no biggie. Some dents and stuff. Now, I do have to give the uh, the cuffs. The cuffs are nice. The cuffs are nice and detailed and raised. Um, here's a chunk of the chest. Uh, we got two more baggies. These are what most people despise. I actually don't mind them. Uh, Miguel says, I want this. I want this now. Uh, by the way, thank you for everyone that uh, is in the chat. Um, we got 20 people in here. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. I knew if I put live nude something on there, uh, people would show up uh, and proceed to watch everyone stop by their shit. Um, this was around the time SMS started making changes to their heads and modifications recast, making them fugly as hell. Yeah. Their last good kit that I remember was uh, the the Sosby bust that they ended up doing. I did really like the uh, head proportions. Um, let's see here. Wife is picking up Mountain Mike's pizza on the way ahead. And oh, really? Really? Really, Dave? You had to do that? Dave's sending me links to the P Bandai um, premium stuff. I'm like, ah. Oh. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at this real quick. So this is going to be the inside of the binder. Most people end up hating this with all the modifications. You know, you got all the hose, all the little details. If you like detailing, this is going to be for you. Now, that being said, uh, I do see some really soft details in here. So do not make that the, your main focus point. But you can detail that and make it nice. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this where the funnels are in here. I want to display this where the funnels are out. Um, no Kasatria 1100, Nightingale Master Grade. You know, personally, I don't even care about Nightingale ma uh, Master Grade. Like the, uh, the RE100 that they ended up doing. I think it was RE100. I still have that box. It's it's John's and it's sitting in my closet and it's so fucking big. Um, let's see here. Fugliest head and proceed to watch everyone stop buying their shit. Uh, fugliest head. I did. I did like um, uh, what they did with um, the Sazvi bus, uh, but only because they they uh, lengthened that jaw, uh, the jaw piece of the helmet. There was someone that gave it more menace with that. Um, you have these pieces, which I'm assuming are parts of the legs. And damn, look at all those little details and stuff. Like, if you have time to sit and detail all this stuff, um, of course, you're going to end up doing it by hand. But uh, it's great for you. This is the last baggie, too. So this is what I think Jim had an issue with the other night was... And someone's going to get a hole. Well, no. Yeah, someone's not going to get a hole where there's supposed to be a hole because I got rubber in here. Um, so the details are okay. They're not like super, super crisp. But they're okay. Uh, let's see here. And I'm just looking. So this is one of those. I consider this one of those. 
if you take your time and in cleaning up and detailing and stuff, you can make this look really fantastic. Now, one of the things I don't like is like this piece right here. You can kind of tell that it's supposed to be like like this and the edges are kind of curved in. Um, it is going to need some cleanup and sanding, but I mean, that's why that's why we work on resin is because we like doing that stuff. He in the road. Have fun, boys, says Leon. You be safe on the road, brother. Um, be careful. Thank you. Uh, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for all of my members. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, da -da -da -da. Their MS build of GMG cast, uh, GMG, it was. Uh, yes, I, it was. Um, just build it then. Uh, then you can scrap the box. Uh, he in the road, have fun. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, da -da -da, that's a lie. No one wants to fix warping. Yeah, I know that. I know that nobody wants to fix warping, but I'm seeing little things like they're supposed to look like ladder pieces, or and if you really wanted to take your time and everything, you could literally just like kind of sand those off and make your own little ladder pieces out of metal. Uh, let's see, what did they do with the hands? Okay, so they have the rounded hands. I am looking for the infamous piece. Where is the infamous piece? Got a ton of fun funnel, fin funnel parts. Uh, you do get different hands on here. You get open hands and closed hands. One of these little baggies of pieces has a head in it. Where are you, head? I bet you're in here. Um, and serious offsets. Yeah, well, as long as this doesn't have any major, major offsets, I can live with that. I'm looking at the waist section, and it looks, it looks off. Um, okay, so here are all the fin funnel pieces. Uh, I can tell you right now, we're probably going to end up replacing all of these tips because they're all bent. Um, okay, so there's the head crest. Head crest is in there. Which looks like Sosby's head crest. Which is weird. Uh, detail piece. Okay, so we'll keep that up. This looks exactly like Sosby's head, uh, head crest. Back. I don't even have his head on there. So I can't compare. I know I have it somewhere. But yeah, this piece. Sosby head crest. Um, let's see here. Serious offsets. I should probably repaint my alien, alien head. Yeah, since you can't get replacement parts for the parts that they, they duplicated, which I think sucks. Uh, wait, where's the little, okay, well, here's part of the head. Where's the other part of the head? We're going to have to rebuild this head. We can rebuild it. We can make it better. Where's the top part? Do, 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 do. Mm. These vents look like uh, vents off of the Sosby as well, which I have extras, so I can always replace those if need be. I have plenty of extra photo edge parts and pieces. Uh, the hand things are kind of a joke. I mean, the fingers aren't bad. And... Yeah, so, I mean, if you guys want to see some manipulation and trying to fix stuff like this, um, definitely stick around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separation. 
I'm going to do an overview of all the parts that come in here uh, and then do a video on that and then and then we will get into uh, like building this guy up I think I'll do the same as I did the unleashed and we'll do like five days of live streaming um, arms legs waist chest and do that so uh, if you want to see that then do that um, let's see I'm gonna see other Dave are you at work And finish the high new. Yes, the high new is getting finished, but I mean, just for uh, build up. I'm not working on this right now. Like, I ordered it because they had it in stock, and I am a whore. Uh, we want to see it, but only after you finish the high new. Yes. Um, so let's see here. So I ended up picking up, uh, these big giant Tupperware things because, uh, my supermarket had them on sale. Uh, I think they had a ton of them from Thanksgiving and, uh, they had them on sale. It was $2.99, $1.99 for two of these big ones. So that is perfect for something like this. If this whole thing will end up fitting in here, which I don't know. Um, let's roll over here. Um, where do I get my resin kits? I get them from a GK model. Um, oh, well, if you happen to also might be in voice chat, let's head over. Hmm. Hey baby, what you doing over here? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so joining me in voice chat right now is the other Dave, which is actually technically not here because, well, he's not here. We'll just leave yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not here. Don't ask questions. This is a life model decoy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm going to go through and, shit, I got some time. Um... Uh... Yeah, Alan, he didn't pull that one from Tupperware. He got that one from a cardboard box. Now he's putting it in Tupperware. Yeah, now I'm putting it in Because he wants those E2046 vibes. <laughs> hey, some of their Tupperware stuff was not bad at all. Um, you know what? I'm leaving things in pieces so that I can separate them into chunks. Uh, I got about an hour to go, so I'm wondering if I should just do that now. Um, do you guys want me to separate pieces now or do you want me to work on something else? Uh, technically I could work on the high new arm and get that other arm together and show Work on high new. Okay. Um, it's been like 15 years since you started that high new. It has not been 15 years. It feels uh, like it. COVID makes time dilate, man. GK model. I, I'm about to put a link in the chat for um, GK model. I am not affiliated. I do not have a discount, so don't ask. Um, but these guys are my go-to for resin. See, I don't get this, dude. I don't understand this. It. What? only does it here when i'm not on my when i'm not on my streaming page the mouse works just fine but when i have but when i'm on the streaming page it just skips all over the place and does everything um so that is where i end up getting all of my re well mo i should say most of my resin kits there are some others that i don't get there but um let's see here uh 14 years uh alan no it has not been 14 years it's only been like what two months that i've been working on off and on and like most of those i wasn't working on anything so uh let's see here alan says no you work on the high new you work on the high new now or i come <laughs> over to your house and i beat your ass so i will work on the high new 
I take threats very seriously. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Djibouti says, LML. LML. Okay. And yes, I'm not going to get all this in here. But that's why I have two of them. See, with uh, the GK link, even though the channel is not affiliated with GK, um, we do have a channel affiliate, or a friend of the channel. Uh, it's uh, Galactic Toys. You can go there and use code Star Shadow for 10% uh, off. 10% off anything. Unlike new type. Which, yes, I'm calling 10 it 10% off decals. <laughs> uh, no, unlike new type that, um, you know, you have all these sponsors or all these channels that uh, promote them and say 10% off anything on their site. It is not 10% off anything on their site uh, because it does not count toward resin uh, over there. Oof. I found that out. Uh, I do like having a discount to offset my stupid state tax. Um, especially when I'm, yeah, I just, I don't, especially when I'm buying something out of state, I don't like to have to pay tax on something that I'm ordering from another state. Um, but anyway. <laughs> So, hey, Alan, did the, the new type owner roast you? Hmm. Uh, can vouch for that shop, ask for replacement parts. The guy who runs the shop roast me <laughs> for breaking parts. So I know a couple people um, oh, that GKM. ended Oh, uh, GKM. Yeah, uh, you know what? Um, I forgot who it is I usually end up uh, talking to over at GKM, but they've always been super awesome uh, with me. Like, Every once in a while, I'll order something and they'll throw something extra in there, but I don't expect it. It's uh, it's nice to see, but I don't expect it. Um, What's your average wait time for things to come in the mail from GKM? So if you go with regular post, it could be, especially now during COVID time, it could be, uh, it could be anything, dude. Like, seriously, it could be uh, weeks. Um, okay. But so the way that their site ends up setting up, uh, yes, yes, it can be. Um, which is what, uh, so Alan says ordering resin from new type can be a big slap in the face and it can be, I almost ordered the dynamis kit from them cause they had it in stock. They kept bombing my email. Hey, we have the uh, fortune meow dynamis kit in. Um, okay. I almost ordered it even though it's inflated price um, because they do have free shipping when you order over a certain amount. But then you add in tax and everything and it would have made my cost uh, like $150. And I was like, no. <coughs> so, um, so I just ordered a couple things that I wanted. I ordered big green and I figured while I was at it, I'd order this. Now, um, I will say with GKM, they do have a discount program. You start off as a silver tier or something like that, and that gives you like 5% off. If you buy more than two resin kits, it'll give you another 5% off. Uh, as you build up tiers, like gold tier right now is where I'm at, and that gives you 15% off, and then you can keep stacking percentages off depending on what you end up buying. Um, but it does not count toward original kits uh original kits being uh pk king um fortune meow uh any of the any of the non third party like recast so forth so the Cassatria i got uh 15 off and then i think i got another five percent off on top of that um but the fortune meow i paid full price um yeah, and platinum, uh, I think you get twenty percent off. Um, I forgot, I forgot the tiers of how it ends up going, but it's not. If you like resin, it's not hard to rack those up. Uh, DHL, if you have one kit or you have five kits, select the at your checkout. The way they end up working is at your checkout. You can add DHL shipping. I think it's ten or twelve dollars. You just tick that box. They add, uh, it's 10 or 12 dollars to, so you have your price, you have your shipping cost, you know, that whatever their shipping cost is, um, and that's what your total ends up being. 
And then for an extra 10 or $12, you can have that whole bundle, one kit or five kits, doesn't matter, um, DHL shipped. Do it. Spend the extra 10, $12. Do it. Even if you're only buying oh, one. Only 10, 12 bucks. Yeah. Uh, this kit literally shot, uh, shipped uh, two day, three days ago. It shipped out uh, Tuesday afternoon, I think. Uh, and it arrived before I left work uh, today on Friday. Uh, and the fastest I've ever gotten DHL was, uh, wait, I take that back. The fastest I ever got DHL from them was well before pre COVID times. And I actually got the kit before I ordered it. Uh, l l wrap your brain around that one. I ordered it. It was a PK King kit. I ordered it on, I think a Monday night our time uh, about uh, nine o'clock no I take that back I did one of my late night trollings so I ordered about 1 a.m. somewhere in there they got the order and what they do is they send you a PayPal invoice you pay the PayPal invoice you leave them a message that you paid it they process it they ship it so I paid within a half hour I had the PayPal invoice paid uh within two hours i think i had my dhl uh shipping tracking number and then so that was tuesday morning about 1 a.m and somehow by 6 p.m that night within 24 hours i had it in my hands Jeez. um so let's say technically uh I ordered it about 8 a.m. their time and by about 8 a.m. my time that equal day I had it in my hands like it, it was crazy even I was shocked I was like hi who are you and why do you have a package that I ordered just a few hours ago like it was crazy like I was super shocked <laughs> welcome back in Gala. and is that a do. is that a razor uh, basilisk on your desk uh, speed? wait where uh, yeah. your mouse yes <laughs> I'm using the exact same mouse. <laughs> um, so this is the one that if I keep it off of the, so I have two monitors. I have a monitor over here and I have a monitor right here. And this is the one that I have the YouTube live stream, like on YouTube. If I move the mouse over to that screen, it starts skipping and it just stops working. I have to Here's. pop it off, pop it back on. But if I'm over on this page over here, it's perfectly fine. I don't get it. I don't get what ha the YouTube Did you install stream has suite? to do. What sweet? Yes, I do, uh, and yeah. That's stupid. The razor thing, yeah. And, we'll and work I, on that off stream. I I love the fact that in like a couple of of weeks, it'll forget my password and it won't let me log back in. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So uh yeah, DHL's the best. Uh they are fast on shipping. They are fast. Like I I really like them. Like that's I trust them. They seem like good people. They've never done me wrong. They've even added some shit. I've never had anything missing from my orders. Okay. Well, since we're here, let's work on some arms. Now I did already do uh, the, I did already do the other arm. In fact, let me tear it off. <laughs> so if you're not careful you will tear out the whole fucking shoulder socket by the way this is an adult channel and not for children this goes for you uh uh Djibouti because I know your kids are watching I am not responsible if your wife beats your ass because you let them watch me <laughs> I don't even know if he's still in chat. If he is, he'll pop up. Uh, let's see here. DHL is the best. They seem to do several uh, loading trips per day, unlike FedEx, UPS. Yep. If a plane comes in, you don't have to wait. Yep. Uh, the only thing that I've ever had a delay with is every once in a while in customs, like customs will hold up, and that's because they're being assholes and don't want to work 
Um, okay, so there's the other arm. So this is the one arm that we have already done. Let's go over here. Let's go here. Okay, so this is the one arm we've already done. Yes, I know. I've already glued the gun on there. It was a pain in the butt. Um, I mean, it kind of slips in and is fine. I don't have the wrist piece on here because it actually needs to be glued on. And I'm not ready to do that. Uh, the gun is cool. I, I mean... I will be displaying it with the gun out because, well, it's there, and why not? Is this pretty gun? Um, let's break down this guy. Uh, I don't know if I need any pieces out of there. I'm not even looking at the instruction manual. We are just going to bake it until we make it, or or not, or I'll pull out the instruction manual. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, wait, what did I miss out? You were saying about my voice? I said, this is a, this is an adult channel. If your wife beats your ass for anything they hear th me say, then that's on you. You have been warnified. You have been warnified. Yeah, also, tell her to stop texting me that I'm a bad influence on you. See, I hate these. Urgh, come on. Really? I hate these. I hate these wrist joints. Now the ball joint's stuck in there. What? What? You don't? You like them? No, your 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 camera's out of focus. Oh. Boop. Making me feel like I need glasses. Wow, there you go. Ha! <laughs> it was Vaseline vision there for a moment. Ooh, Vaseline. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Miguel, out of focus. And uh, Djibouti says, LOL. It's sad half the time I read the chat more than I watch the stream itself. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to turn on, like, text-to-speech. Oh, jeez. Uh, enabler. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I do really appreciate it. Dave does too, because the more he works, the more I send him stuff. <laughs> I never said the site, Mike. I just like being part of the the, 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 the situation here. Uh, so this piece, help it, I can. if it's on, it, there's no issues with that. Like, and that's one thing I haven't really had any issues with pieces fitting. Uh, I am going to secure those stupid uh, shoulder joints on the main body, though, because that's irritating. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with is... So, I guess it's about the same, but... The, but these are a little bit longer, so... Like it, it stops it at the elbow. Now I'm not expecting him to be in a like a pick your nose kind of pose. Um, it looks like that's backwards. Uh, I don't think so. Uh oh, that should be that outside. Because that's how the other one came off. Oh, uh, but nice. the other ones are a little bit shorter, so you can get a little more range in there. Uh. I'm going to look just to make sure I don't jack anything up. I mean, how difficult it can be. It's 12 pieces. Well, Dave can probably fuck it up. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey, you know what? I'm just a yes man. I'm I, agreeing with what you say, okay? Okay, I, appreci I appreciate that. <laughs> um. But see, the trick to it is, is while yes, you have the ability to fuck things up, you also have the ability to fix them very well. Yes. See, yeah, see, I pay very... compliments too. I've been very... Oh, by the way, I have to show you something wifey sauce got me. Uh, uh oh. Don't you fall over, chair. Uh, okay. So, she went to CVS the other day and she came back with a couple. Oh, jeez. These. <laughs> have you seen these? I've seen those that actually. Whoa. I've seen them that, that the tongue pops out when you squeeze it and yeah. it makes a noise. Oh, yeah. 
No, I'm just waiting till the cat uh, acrylic resin water soluble. Okay, so if it busts all over the place, it's uh, it's all good. Um, all new material. Well, I'm glad it's not like old material. Um, but oh, she's, it's so, so gross. She's all. I'm like, oh, they're like little boobies. And look, you can boop 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 boop. <laughs> she's all. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> So technically, yeah, we are our adult stream. We're firmly in the adult stream while you play with your yeah, your, your cat on stream. My, my stress ball. That's my stress uh -huh. ball. That <laughs> Alan. Uh, um, okay. So Dave, um, hmm. which side is the inside of that elbow? That way. Okay, I see it now. I see it. You held it up the right way. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. Uh, okay, so we have this piece, which is going to go on to this piece. Man, I am yeah, so, so glad I like my music. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh. I didn't mean to cut you off there. So there's a little tab on here. We do want to cut those off or cut that off. It also says, do I cut out the rest part? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, John is the number one bad influence on Dave when it comes oh, to spending God. money. So, I, I'm only a fraction of that bad influence. John is the devil there. Yes. So this is how it works. Um, it's a trickle down effect. John. <laughs> yes, you would. John goes, oh, hey, this looks really cool. Do you uh do you want me to send it to you to a review? Uh sure. Then he sends it to me. Now this is where I flaw because I literally have a mountain because I haven't been able to get them out to him. But um so and then I go, oh, I like this kit so much I end up ordering it. Or I end up going <laughs> Yeah, or I end up going, oh, this is freaking awesome. Like I, you know. And then he doesn't end up ordering one, but I do. So it all is a wash. Uh, and then we want to trim off these bits. Yeah. Always hurts watching good solid chunks of plastic come off. Oh, it feels so good. So my dumb self, I brought the, the couplers for the backpack for the strike resin I have here. Uh -huh. And thought I grabbed the right poly cap sheet. I grabbed the polycap sheet from a Destiny Gundam instead of the Strike Gundam. <laughs> you should still be able to use it, can't you? It's different, uh, different uh, polycaps. The uh, it's a unique one, so I'm just gonna fill it up with uh, either put some putty in there and make a ball joint in it, or just glue it into place. But I have the plastic housing for the actual joint now, so I can complete this kit. Wow. Um, oh yeah. So moving on to the bad influence. So then <laughs> I end up trickling it down to other Dave going, <laughs> hey, look what I found. And sometimes it's not even the same stuff. Like I've just, you know, I find other crap. Um, and now I have a new victim being uh, Djibouti, which I just sent him. <laughs> I just sent him stuff. But I have to give his wife credit. Like she actually bought him something useful. And, and I, I know that's coming out kind of condescending and it's kind of jealousy. So, um, uh, she got him a, uh, mm, how do you put it? Like a tools tray, like for a workbench, it has all the little trays and so forth, clear trays for keeping parts and tools and stuff in on his little bench. So that oh. like, that's freaking awesome. Cause mine wouldn't do that. God, I think I think she has the mentality of as long as I leave him alone, he'll he'll stay in his corner. <laughs> That's the theory. <laughs> Doesn't always work out that way, but that's the theory. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, I need to trim off those little nubbins. And then Gawa, if it was legal to sell body parts, I'd have a whole lot more resin. Uh, mm. uh, 
I have a right testicle I can sell. I don't use Dude, it. Dude, I've got I've, I've got both I could sell if it came down to it. <laughs> I drink mostly water. I can sell a kidney. <laughs> uh, you don't want my kidneys. You don't want my liver. No. My eyes are going, so you don't want those. Okay. Uh, so that is in there. Uh, you do want to pop the original like poly cap that had the ball joint in there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, store storage bin. Um, <laughs> Miguel Crespo, you guys go hard. Uh, Djibouti says uh, she's getting ready to spend money that was to shut me up. Yeah, that's when a new like Dooney and Burke purse or something like that, or like a big shopping <laughs> spree at like Ulta shows shows up, <laughs> and you can't say shit. I got to watch that in action with my roommates. <laughs> the wife was like, "Yeah, you can go ahead and buy that." <laughs> And then a week later, oh yeah, by the way, since you got all that stuff, I'm getting this. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really bitch what? that much about what she ends up buying, but what I do bitch about is, so, um, she has found the joys of, uh, QVC. Oh no. Shopping from home is never a pleasure. What's up, Wyland? Uh, Leon, he has two right testicles. Impressive. Uh, uh, it depends on how you look at them, which direction you're looking at from. Because we're looking from behind, the one on the right's on the right. <laughs> if you're the front, the one on the right's on the right. No. Uh, I can give away my right one because it's been dead since I was like 17 from freezing the shit out of it from not wearing uh, warm pants and wor wearing uh, riding snowmobiles and shit during the winter in Alaska. So. That's why anybody can have that one. You have too much fun. <laughs> no. Not anymore. Oh. My fun now is like riding my scooter out in the rain in traffic. Yeah, I heard you talking about that. That was like a factor four clinch factor there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with explosive stuff on my back. Yeah, that, that was uh -huh. a, little, a little sketchy. Um, let's see here. Wylan says he's loving the nippers. Thanks. Oh, you are very welcome, dude. And where is my little piece that goes? D5. What does D5 look like? All right. Well, that doesn't look like what's in the picture, but okay. I will trust you. Um, D5. I guess that gets glued in there. Yeah, I found my old Volk, Volk snippers from when I first started the hobby. Those things are nice. I miss my Volks. <laughs> I missed oh. them. Yeah, so I got them right here. Yep, those exact nippers. Yep. My tips are a bit rough, so I'm thinking about grinding them off. Um, you can actually take like a sharpening stone or so forth to sharpen those up. Well, there's a gap in them because they're oh, yeah. bent. That yeah. was dumb. Just don't... Um... Just don't like grind them to where they get hot. Like just keep cooling them down and grind them down. Otherwise, yeah. they'll, otherwise they'll get all weird. Yep. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Loving the nippers things. They cut things like butter. Yes, yes they do. Um, I'm loving them. They're my. They've become my go-to's now. What shippers are those? The Vul uh, Vulcans or? No, um, so the Vulcans were the ones that I used for the longest time. They're still over there, but the Madworks ones? Madworks, that's it. Right, where is... Where's my toothpick? Where's my toothpick, damn it, boy? If you get highly offended by stupid shit, yeah, you may not want to be here. Uh-oh. So just because I like asking dumb questions in case there's new viewers here who don't know a lot about resin, um, I'm the idiot check of the group here. Um, so you use very small amounts of super glue to affix the parts, knowing that later if you need to pull them off and they won't come off with a little bit of effort, you can soak it in purple power, which will keep the plastic and resin in check, but melt the, or make the uh, super glue become rubber, right? 
This is correct. There you go. Yay, you're a winner. Uh, someone else asked me in one of the videos, like, how do you separate parts? Um, you can grab, like, I've used this. This is a, a paint stir. I have dental tools. You can literally like, just pop it underneath the piece and, and it'll pop right the hell off. Uh, as long as you're not, like, going super crazy with the super glue to get it super stuck. Uh, okay, so we're, so we have these. That's gonna go that side. This gonna go this side. And I think it's funny because some of these pieces actually stick really well. It's all about the keying and stuff. I know on my strike there's a lot of parts that very loosely fit over the the inner frame, so mm. I'm gonna have to go through with some super glue and do some temporary tacking. Dang it, that's what I should have brought from Florida was paint. <laughs> Where's my other arm? Okay, so there's that. There's that. Hmm. Yeah, see? One of these does not like seem like the other, see? Okay, so... Hmm. Did they fuck up, Trespa see? Asks, do you use the same glue for the final assembly once painted? Three, three, four. Uh, do I use the same glue for the assembly once? Um, yeah, that or I'll use some two-part epoxy, but for the most part, I use the same glue. Okay. And so, something that Dave just noticed, because he's a spaz, Did you do it wrong on the first arm? Okay, so there's two different ones. Uh, if you guys can see, there's two different ones, and they they have different offsets. So I guess one arm has one, one way, and the other arm has another way. And I just did it again. Damn it, Dave! Get your shit straight. Jesus Christ. Oh, that looks better. Uniformity. Hmm. Okay. All right, so those go in. Pretty much pressure fit. Don't really have to do anything to it. Uh, this. I'm just going to spot glue right in there. So we're going to... We'll grab our toothpick and put a little dab of glue on there. Dabba do ya. Yabba dabba dooba. What about tubas? Mm, tuba. Tuba. Do 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 do. Everything is beautiful. Tell shit goes sideways. Okay. Just want to temporarily hold that. I think when you temporarily held that girl's hand in seventh grade. Till she ran away screaming. Till she wasn't expecting you to grab her hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and she was half asleep, so you know, just use caution. Uh, you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> okay, that took it to a new level. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite thing to say to people during Hello Scream. It was that and, um, oh man, there's a couple, you smell like the inside of my mama's purse. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You see now why they put me as a clown. Yeah. Did I ever mention I hate clowns? Uh huh. Oh, great. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I... <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh. All right, come on. Okay, a little bit of water. There it is. How can you not find water? Your house is literally like three by three. 
Like you actually <laughs> share living quarters with the Keebler elves. Like what the hell? <laughs> it, it's I got one of those camouflage vessels, so it gets lost sometimes, my dude. No, I'm not breaking shit yet. Give me time. Give me time. I'm just trying to get these two pieces apart. Evidently, they're in love with each other and they don't want to separate. You know, usually when you say you're not breaking stuff is right before you break something. So no. be careful. Use my chi. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Use my cheese. There you go. I was waiting for the correction. Speaking of cheese, I wasn't going to crack them open, but I have to. Mm. By the way, best fucking pork rinds. I fell in love with those because I used to get regular pork rinds. And I was always looking for that one really hard, freaking crunchy piece in the bottom. There was only <laughs> one. Hello, Gundamizer. Glad to have you back be back with us while Dave's live. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Um. Oh, here. Let's let's shield some. Let's let me speak. Mm, use my words. Let's shill some shit. Okay, so uh, here is some uh, channels that uh, I recommend that are friends. And uh, if it, you give me the thing. Uh, so we have Leonel's Workshop, Nori TV, uh, SD Hobbies Channel, and Merritt Philbin. Though Merritt Philbin has been slacking and has not made anything in a while. And he's not here, so I can talk crap about him. You talk crap about him if he was here. Yeah, that's true. Um, and uh -huh. then next up, uh, we have the next one, which should be uh, Foxy Fate Presents. Uh, go show her some love. She's a really sweet girl. Really cool. Uh, don't Just don't expect any, uh, basically, titty streams. Not from her. She's just straight up gunpla. Uh, Justinius Builds. I don't know if he still makes videos or not, um, but I see him post on uh, Snapchat, so maybe he just posts on Snapchat now. Uh, Gunpla Fixation, a.k.a. Jim, um, with his worthless channel that he's not been posting anything on, and I'm going to keep talking shit as long as he keeps talking shit about me not painting anything. Nah. So you're going to paint that uh, high new, huh? Uh, it'll get primer. Does that count as <laughs> paint? I mean, a little bit. Oh, this one going to drawn? Huh? Well, what? Uh, is this drawing skit? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, let's see huh? here. Wow, Foxy Fate present. Uh, yeah, Foxy Fate's uh, actually a uh, really cool girl. So go show her some love. Uh, and then there's another channel. Let me see. Uh, uh, Gunpla Therapy. Uh, I found his channel. I, like, I've been finding some new people just random out of the blue. Uh, that's one of my vlogger friends here in the Philippines. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Foxy's really a really cool girl. Um... Uh, can I post? I think I can. Can I share this? Yeah, I'll just do this. So, I'm going to post this in the chat. But I have to do it on my phone because, because well, that's the way it's working. Um, videos, come on. That one. Um, so, check out uh, check out this guy. I, I'm posting a link to his video. Uh, he's Gunpla Vlogger. I really like his style. Um, he only has a couple of videos. He's been working. He's been doing a series of uh, like how to use certain tools, things like that. Um, so I'm definitely keeping an eye on his channel. Dave, read cat. Huh? What? Read, <laughs> read cat. Read chat. <laughs> read chat. <laughs> uh, da 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 da. This must be your uh, new to your channel. Found you through It's a Gundam. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. That's why. Well, certainly. <laughs> uh, which video are you watching that that he was mentioned in? Was it the uh, the the new Gundam, the metal build one, or is it the was there another video that I missed? Hmm. 
Yeah. He has a tendency of liking to give me some shit for not actually finishing and showing you guys how these things get built. Hence why I'm doing it this way. That way I don't <laughs> procrastinate in editing because I don't have an editor. I know. I'm sorry. I'm bad. No, no, that was not a bash it. No, honestly, that was not a bash it. Uh-huh. Dude. No, uh -huh. it wasn't. <laughs> no, I know it wasn't, dude. I'm messing with you. <laughs> no, I'm giving myself shit over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they see i i personally hold off on ragging on dave while he's building about finishing some kits because there's a couple of kits that i really wanted to see done like the infinite dimensions kits and stuff like that but you know we can't all ha always get what we want yeah well there's a lot of people that would like to see that shit too uh, <laughs> along with Dave. If I didn't have a J-O-B. Uh-huh. I'm just salty because I live vicariously through you. <laughs> so, honestly, if if it wasn't for Rona, like, I could probably do these kind of videos every night. But, like, there's some days, like, I, I have good intentions, guys. I have good intentions of doing a live or doing a video or something like that and i get home from work and i am just mentally done like i i can't i can't with people um and i feel horrible because i i feel like i take that out on you guys and i don't intend to um and there's no point in me half-ass streaming something to you guys uh, and not feeling it. It's the same way as doing like reviews. I don't see a point in doing a review or forcing myself to do a review just so that I'm putting out content. Um, because I There's know a term for that. Uh, what's that? Depression? Um, no, it's called personal pride, professional pride. You, oh, that, you, you yeah. love the you love the work that you do, and you want to put out a good product, man. We we don't blame you in the slightest. Yeah, that too. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that do give credit, like, oh, you have made a video and said, well, uh, there's, there's some people that are, uh, far ahead, uh, a lot farther than ahead that started after I did, and they have the gumption to make videos every day, and good on them for that. Um, this is not my job, this is my hobby, and that's what, it, I mean, that's what it's meant to be. So, and why I'm explaining myself, I don't know, but I, I felt that I needed, <laughs> I felt I needed to. Uh, so this is one of those sections that is kind of like, oh yeah, just do this. Okay, really? <laughs> Step one, make the thing. Step two, the thing has been made. <laughs> okay, so this is a little sketchy right here. Um, so there's a little notch that's in this piece right here. This is the uh, upper arm foldy OP uh, weapon part. Uh, and then there's this piece that has a little notch. Uh, and you need to slide that over, press it down and then press it in and it will actually fit in there. Uh, but it fits like that. I wasn't sure that that was gonna work, but it did. So, yay. Is I feel like I'm missing something. But you out. You get out. You're not welcome here anymore. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me catch it. I've seen uh worse than ID instructions, but they're rough. If you're new, um, wait, 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 what did I miss out on? Um, willing to bet Sosby video, I believe so, uh, for he didn't understand the instructions at all because it was basically no instructions. He was hoping Dave had built, uh, built it so he could use it as a guide. Oh, great. So he just wanted me to use me and abuse me. I'm okay with that. 
I let women do it. I might as well let other people do it. Uh, moving on and disgracing my life. I think it was funny because my last live stream, someone was like, what do you have again? Or uh, do you have a beef with uh, it's a gun or It's a gun. I'm like, no, not at all. <laughs> like, I've never Ooh, talked to him. Cool. He's he's mentioned me several times in the videos and they were never negative. I mean, not negative, negative. He's given me shit for not completing stuff, but everyone gives me shit for not completing stuff. So what makes that any different? I feel like I'm missing something that goes right there. It doesn't I, like that. And I am. And where is it? Step two. Where is step? Where is that piece? Mm. And I can't speak for Dave, but I personally watch both of It's a Gun Plus channels, um, and love both of his channels. Yeah, I. I his commentary I, is funny as shit. Yeah, yeah. His his commentary. Oh my god, when he when he has the. Um, <laughs> The little, I think where he really, I mean, he was, he's always been popular, but I think where he really took off was when he added Billy, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, the, the animation, so forth, but not, um, when he does, has the anime weeb girl, when he does her, <laughs> that cracks, that shit cracks me up so much. Like, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay, so I, I just I, I have fun with, with the the avatar he uses when it when it starts spazzing out. Oh yeah. <laughs> still, still. Can we can Ew. we get can we get some people on this? Still. <laughs> but then you there's realize... a couple times where you sound just like him though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, there was a couple people that asked me if. Uh, the third, it's a Gundam channel. <laughs> yeah, the Gunpla Meister. <laughs> no. Yeah, he was like, uh, someone asked if. Yeah, I'm like, no. That is not me. I am not that awesome. But oh, what the hell was that? Nothing. Okay. I will trust you. My water. You oh, okay. <laughs> It was not a model kit. <laughs> yeah. You did not hear glass break. <laughs> Please go back to your regularly scheduled program. Reminds me, I got a new desk lamp that I've installed just so I can work on Gundam stuff while I'm at work. Oh. Yeah. Isn't it convenient that you Ow. can just roll out of bed, take a piss, go to work? It's very convenient. And literally work while on the toilet. I mean, if the bath, if I had a bathroom, then yes. <laughs> In the meantime, he's using a catheter. <laughs> Check the link below for catheter supplies. <laughs> Today's sponsor. Today's Easy sponsor is Easy Cath. Do it yourself at home. <laughs> for no. when you're dedicated and want to continue building. Oh. Nothing. The fuck are you breaking, dude? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Clang. Nothing. <laughs> no, no obling glass. No obling glass. Obling glass. Sorry. Okay. Ooh, I may have used a bigger dab than I intended. That was like a Jake Paul dab right there. Holy shit. Where are the haters? Because they need to be dabbed on. Get dabbed on, bitches. Okay. I'm sure I'm missing pieces on there. We will fix that later. There's the back of the hand. I don't know where the fuck this piece goes. It may not even go to this. I'm pretty sure it does, though. It may have been down for here. So here's what's confusing. is It adds pieces that you don't really need. But some of them you do need. Uh... 
You don't need this. Just kidding. You really need it. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's... I think there's a, another arm bag them. Listen. So evidently, I told YP, surprise me. So we'll see what kind of pizza she gets me. Oh, here. This looks like you might like it. The Ass Killer 3000 pizza. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I'll just go to Home Depot, get a five gallon bucket, and I will just stream sitting at the desk. You guys will never. Uh, yeah. Oh, you uh -huh. guys will never know. Uh huh. Oh <coughs> I actually made my self choke on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Billy the Puppet <laughs> is, is so funny. Uh, let's see here. Uh, same as com commentary as comedy. Yeah. Um, yeah, not wasting presents at the time of deciphering resin kits is not something I find worth doing. So there's some pieces here. Like, I'm not missing pieces, but I have extra pieces. Well, I am missing pieces. I don't know what goes in here. So I will figure that out. We will figure that out. But basically, there's both arms. Uh, except for, I don't know where they... And I'm not going to show you on the body because I may or may not have torn the ball socket off for the right arm when I was trying to take it off because the whole damn thing came out. Not my fault. It's Dave's fault. He wasn't even in chat, but I'm going to blame him. Completely my fault. I'll take the blame. His, I'll shoulder that for you. He's like my personal Igor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am going to replace these, uh, hands though, because, well, I don't like these hands. I know a lot of people love these hands, and at first, when they came out with these hands, I was like, oh my god, this is so freaking awesome. And then, um, and then I realized they can't even hold air. Yeah, they're bad sometimes. The only reason why I like them is, is because if they clip into the weapon like they're supposed to and they do good with that it's great because you don't have to worry about having 16 different pairs of fingers for each and everything my my, my dumb self brought home dynamis from florida and didn't bring home any of the fingers so it's just palms <laughs> mm. well he doesn't need fingers oh wait yeah that is kind of how you fire a gun huh oops yeah, a little bit i mean a bit. Mm. Only a little. So by me getting this conversion kit, completely killed my idea of... See, that goes in. Okay, so I'm going to have to... And that was something I was going to mention, but then I just glued the sunbitch on, so I can't mention it. I would personally, uh, on... Come on. Come on. Why are you... St mm -hmm. This is why we do adapt. Okay, so on this section right here, I would either glue in the ball socket or I would, I'm personally going to get a piece of uh, plot plate and glue back here to keep that ball socket from sliding back. Because what ends up happening is as soon as you go to put on the hands or anything, it's going to push that ball socket back. So which means if you go to change a gun or you go to change a pose, anything like that, it's going to screw you up. It's down. Oh, Dave, I was meaning to ask, have you tried using the razor with your any resin stuff yet? Uh, I kind of played around with it with, with one piece, but I didn't go very far. Um, well, let's let's test this theory. Cause I'm here, I and I have it. to I have to go here in a few minutes anyway because. As soon as she sends the me, me the message, I have to run down to the car like a good little bitch and get the pizza out of the car. Which, I mean, she is nice enough to be picking it up and everything. So, I can be nice enough to go down and get it. Um, okay. So, we have this. Today you That's weird. This feels like when you do this on the Razor Files, 
it feels like a cat lick in your finger. It has that. <laughs> it has that still kind of like uh, grabby. Mm, yeah, that grabby. Uh, did you buy my friend's hands? No, not yet. I will do that. Uh, they are in a wish list on a tab, and I will uh, on payday. Uh, let's see what happens here. Well, let's see. I flipped the piece into my lap. So we know that works. Uh, <laughs> where's my new one? I want to try the new one. I love the I love the Razor Plus. That's my favorite tool of all time. Uh, 3.0 hands are trash. You are not wrong, John. Uh, let's see here. Once they pop uh, once they pop out of the socket, they're done. Yes, and that's exactly what happened with these. Um, so this, we'll zoom in. Be you careful, the razor files pick up a lot of dust. Come on, focus. Focus. You want to focus on this spot. I want you to focus right there. Come on. Yes, I know you can do it, you piece of there. Okay, so I did with the other one just a little bit. You can kind of see the shininess. That was from the uh, 1.5. Here's the Razor Plus. Let's see what ends up happening. Man, it makes it smooth. Uh, let's see here. Did you buy? Uh, I just got a bad. <laughs> I just got a bad feeling about that Razor and resin. Yes. Mm. I mean, it's working, but it's like not, not taking off like material. Like it's not as. I know some flat surfaces. It's more of a buffer. But when you have like a, a lip or something to remove or an actual nub, it chews mm -hmm. right through it. Yeah, so it seems to be. The dust on this doesn't seem to be any worse than when I'm uh, using my file. It's probably finer. It's probably finer dust. I'll give it that. I like the ceramic file with resin works nice. Yeah, uh, as soon as mine gets here, um, I'm interested in trying that. I hadn't ever heard of a ceramic file. Um, but I don't want to make my... Yeah, so making it glossy it is pointless because you're just going to have to go back over it with uh, sandpaper mm -hmm. anyway to rough it back up. And, but we're just testing it out. Scene... So there's a little. I can feel it grabbing and biting. So that means it's doing something. It, it creates a fucking crystal smooth finish on some of these pieces, though. So on this one, you can kind you can see the edges like. If I catch the glint just right, you can see how it's worked down those outer edges. Not to the center yet. So you can see the difference on there. Damn, that's pretty. <laughs> I mean, for me, with plastic, that's a pretty, I mean, it, it's, it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me. So here's bare plastic. We're we're just playing around. Um, okay, so we'll be doing this section right up here. I 
guess if you put more pressure, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm I handle these like I don't put any pressure like they're glass, so I don't want I don't know why I think that they're gonna break. They're not gonna break, but man, if you put some more pressure, you can feel it eating into that. Totally. And not that much is getting into the groove, so that's. And the cool thing about that file is a little bit of tape gets it all clean again. Makes it like new. Uh, I heard from someone that uh, sticky tack works well too. Mm, have to try that. Or the, the blue tack. Taking its time on that though. What? <laughs> what am I looking for? That's what I'm looking for. So we have this. It's gonna be rough. Uh, this is compliments of Jabuti. Now, yo, nope. this I love. The the razor black. Mm, I love this thing. It fits in my hand. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Blue tack works great for any file. Yeah. Okay. So that took like no time. Should be perfectly flat. It's all nice and buffed. Just like I wish I could be. I wish I could be buffed. But alas, we can't always get what we want. So I know people gave me shit about ordering this and that's okay. Like I will test it for a while. If I don't like it, I'll have a giveaway. I keep all my packages. I'm keeping the other one. The other one and the whole thing I'm keeping cause that was a gift. Uh, this one, I just wanted to play around with. What is it filing like? Like, it's not flat. Because I know the surface is flat. I just flatten it. Uh, let's see here. That sandpaper really rips through stuff. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what grit I have on there right now. But yes. Yes, it does. That's not horrible. Okay. So there's a little section which I guess is sunk, but so we ripped that down. We did on that. And yes, we could buff it down and make it completely smooth and flat, but that's not the point. So I did end up removing a lot of I think what have I got on here? Uh I can't see what what grid I have on here. But I can tell you, it's it's probably the 400 that's on here. Lick that's it. what it feels tell like. <laughs> mm, tastes purple. <laughs> and you guys will find on most of my stuff. <coughs> oh my gosh, you actually licked it. Uh, yeah, you told me to. I was joking. You just consumed... Oh, you live in the state of California. That that's just been known in the state of California to cause cancer. You know what? I bought a fucking food de dehydrator for drawing <laughs> parts and also possibly making some jerky in, and it had a California prop warning. And uh, God, everything I've been buying recently had a, a, a prop warning. 
these stupid bottles for the paint. They had a prop warning. I'm like, really? Uh, anyway. So, uh, all, all of my things, you'll see this little dark patch on them. Um, there's one there. There's one oh, on yeah. that. There's one on a scraper. I literally have strips of um, Velcro on things around my desk and I'm literally Velcroing everything to them. That way they're easy. I can see them. They're not in a slot. I can just grab it, rip it off, go to work and then come back, slap it back on there. Uh, Velcro is awesome. Uh, 400 or 600. I think that's the 400. Uh, let me do this. Yes, I know that made a sound. And here we are back to the lovely face cam. Uh, I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me. Um, I might try to do a live today. Uh, wifey sauce. I don't think that she's watching me. Um, but, uh, so she's got to go get her boobies smashed tomorrow. Uh, and I'm not going for that. And, uh, she's like, I don't want to go. I go, you have two choices. You go do it or I do it. And she said, I'm going to my appointment tomorrow. So, <laughs> uh, so that was an easy pick for her. Uh, so she's going to do that. I don't know how long that's going to end up taking. Um, so I might do a live, but I'm going to later tonight separate all of the, um, the parts for the two kits. I want to do an overview, a layout of all the parts. Um, and that way that's not just in the bubbles. You guys can actually see uh, what comes in the packaging and some close-up detail on that. So that should be fun-ish. And um, go from there. But I want to thank everyone for spending a couple of hours out of their Friday evening when they didn't need to. It is much appreciated. I want to thank the other Dave for stopping in and uh, voice chatting with me and keeping me occupied and keeping me from saying things on fire and or buying yeah. shit I shouldn't. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Melon booby smash. Yeah. Well, she's of that age. So I guess it's time for her to start doing that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see here. And uh, Miguel, thanks for the stream. Dave, you are very welcome. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks, everyone. Um, and I've been getting offers for, and I'm not sure how to take them and I'm going to put it out there and I don't know if he's in the chat. I'm not going to call him out for it. Um, I don't know how to end up taking it because I'm having a couple people here recently just in the last like 48 hours that are subscribers and or members of the channel um, offering to send me things that they're purchasing from place from different shops uh, that I probably wouldn't end up purchasing. Uh, as far as tool wise and things like that uh, to do a review and then forward onto them and I didn't know how to take that because usually I'm the one sending out things uh, the only person that normally does that is uh, dead to death John which is one of my best friends and has been for years um, and he knows where to find me and come collect his stuff with a U-Haul truck because he'll need one that big but um <laughs> But uh, I am honored. Uh, I am kind of shocked. And uh, so if you send me a message like that and I act all dumb, um, don't be surprised. It's just I don't know how to take things like that. Uh, it's not something that I am I'm used to. So um, there's some of these th there's some of these aspects that I am still becoming accustomed to. Uh, one, doing the live streams and uh, trying to stay up and conversing with you guys on chat, keeping up with chat, keeping up with what I'm doing. It does help having someone as a sidekick uh, co-host with me to point things out to me like focus or this or that. Um, but it does mean uh, the world to me. Um, let's see. Ongawa says, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Um, Flair says, much love, everyone. Uh, same to you, Steph's kids missed the stream. Um, night, everyone. It'll, it'll be back live here. Oh, well, it'll be back up here in a little bit. Um, we did some unboxing. We did some shit talking. Um, we didn't make anybody cry, so it was a good night. Uh, as far as I know, my channel is still up and has not been banned. So uh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and for those that are still in here, 
before I go, uh, I think I want to, at least until summertime. I know summertime people do things on Friday nights. At least once COVID is over, they'll be doing movies and stuff. But would you like uh, Friday evening to be a regular? Uh, I like doing Tuesdays as a regular and uh, because Monday is one of my busiest days at work. Um, so Tuesdays and Fridays as regular days and just, you know, smatter in throughout the week uh, some other lives and videos. Um, I want to set up a schedule so that you guys can go, oh, hey, Di Dave's going to be live about 7 p.m. Um, his time on this day's and this day. Um, Djibouti, I'll be sending you another package. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, let's see here. Well, you be careful or your wife's going to end up sending me your package. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Miguel, yes, Fridays. Um, I usually, like, I never got into doing streams on Fridays because everybody does streams on Fridays. And I was like, okay, you know, who's going to turn it? But I think we had, at one point, uh, we had 24, 25 people in here, which is outrageous for me. Um, so I feel honored. Um, and like I said, I'm still getting used to some of this. Uh, the being live, being held responsible when I mispronounce companies names and sometimes i just do it to get under people's skin um uh, friday <laughs> is good tuesdays and fridays uh yeah i'm going to start doing it tuesdays definitely um i don't like doing mondays uh, i mean i can but monday is uh leona's and i may not i may not uh talk in her chat over on twitch but i do pop it up so that i can give her the support and the watch time um and then she does on Thursdays as well, but that's in Spanish and that does not affect me. So, see, si. si, I will be making tacos on Thursdays, doing my support. And <laughs> solidarity. <laughs> uh, and okay, help me out because I always get, now remember, I'm dyslexic, so I get this backwards. Is it Michelle or Michael? It's Michelle, right? Dave? What? In chat. That looks like Michelle. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. I like how it's, is it A or B? Yes. A or B. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. We're making, we're going to make you French. Michelle. Um, well, thank you. Welcome to the channel because I haven't seen you in here before. And I think you said this is your first time here, so thank you. Um, thank you for welcome. <laughs> You're good, LL. Uh, yeah, we'll make you French. Michele. I mean, I changed Djibouti's name to Djibouti, so everyone gets their own nickname. Um, thank You're you, welcome. guys. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And it should be almost time um, to go get pizza. Yay. Um, I've made... I've. I've actually cooked dinner, not not mac and cheese. You guys would be proud of me. I'm proud of my girl. So Wednesday night, I got a wild hair at my butt and I decided to make um, potatoes with diced up um, uh, chuck steak. That turned out okay, but I didn't cook the steak exactly how I wanted. Um, but surprisingly, wifey sauce asked me Thursday night if I would make the same thing except cook the meat the way I want and tended to the first time. So I went and I got King's Cut New York steak because it's better meat and King's Cut. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Most people have. Some haven't. Um, it's like double the thickness of a normal New York but it has the bone in it. Carved out the bone. Da -da -da -da, sliced it in half. Cubed it up. Turned out perfect last night. Um, so yeah. So I need some junk food in my body. My body's going healthy food food what the hell oh we revolt we revolt yeah so i need some crap in my body um thank you everyone for uh stopping by and uh thank you all the regulars for stopping by rick flair Woo! pizza uh, i can do that because my window's not open and i won't scare all my neighbors so um <laughs> thank you guys i will see you all in the next video for dave myself and all the other people in the channel peace out
driving down the street in my 6 foot slapping the gun him. <laughs> and we're gone.